In today's video, we are going to go shopping. Hola, soy Alejandro, bienvenidos a Kiss Spanish, and let's get started with one more lesson of our course for beginners. If you haven't already, make sure to check our playlist with all the previous lessons and the ones that will come after this, so you can follow our course in order. Now let's see the contents of today's video in more detail. Remember that at the end of this unit, we will be able to decide what gifts to buy to some relatives and some friends. And for that purpose, we learned in the first lesson of the unit, stores and products, right? Vocabulary to say things like la farmacia, la tienda de muebles, la tienda de ropa, some typical products from Spain, like el jamón, el aceite, el queso manchego, and others. And then in the second lesson, we worked on the clothes and colors, also including some interesting expressions like poner verde a alguien, to talk badly about someone and others. And today, as we said, we're going to go shopping and learn some products as well as sentences to interact in these situations. If you remember in the previous lesson, John had a hard time finding his size on the online store, Tharman Cloth, so Tharman Clothing. So Sergio says, bueno, si no tienen tu talla en internet, mejor vamos a una tienda. Hmm? If they don't have your size online, then it's better if we go to a store. But first, Sergio has to do some errands and buy some things at different places before we go to the shop with John. And you have here more places to shop. Again, we saw some of them in the first lesson, but there are more here. And on the left, the shopping list of Sergio, La Lista de la Compra. He has to buy aspirinas. In what place do they sell what he needs? ¿Dónde venden aspirinas? En un estanco, panadería, una tienda de electrónica, una librería, una farmacia, una perfumería, un kiosco, una floristería o una papelería. Again, more places to shop and more products to buy. So las aspirinas las compra en una farmacia. Hmm? I'm sure you know already, we saw the word medicamentos in a previous lesson. What about el paquete de tabaco? Paquete de tabaco, ¿dónde lo compra, Sergio? It would be en un estanco. Un estanco. That's a place in Spain where you can buy tobacco. And then la carpeta en una papelería. Una carpeta, un cuaderno, bolígrafos, este tipo de productos en una papelería. What about el cargador de móvil? In what kind of store can he buy el cargador de móvil? Well, en una tienda de electrónica, an electronics shop. The phone charger in an electronics shop. And el perfume o un perfume para Teresa, su mujer, his wife Teresa. Well, en una perfumería. Easy enough, el perfume en una perfumería. And one more, el periódico, donde compra el periódico Sergio. Lo compra en un kiosco. Un kiosco. This is a bit old fashioned, <laughs> maybe just uh, el periódico itself, people don't buy them that much. But if you do, it's in un kiosco. And lastly, el pan, una barra de pan, lo compra en la panadería. Hmm? Panadería. And we have two more places, librería and floristería. So you can see with this introductory activity, more vocabulary with products around shopping and places where you can go to shop. You can see many ending in IA. Panadería, perfumería, uh, floristería, pan, papelería. So that's one ending for places where you buy things that is quite common. And then you have, as we saw in the previous lesson, tienda. Tienda de vinos, tienda de ropa, tienda de juguetes, 
en tienda de muebles. Okay? So, now that we have more vocabulary for things to shop and places to go, let's do a listening activity. We are going to hear five short dialogues. And we're going to listen twice, as we have done before in the course. We do a first listen for a more general understanding and a second one looking for more details in the audio. Now, I just wanted to tell me what uh, picture is part of the audio. No, what audio, what dialogue is occurring in what of these scenarios? A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Okay? So let's listen to the first one and you tell me which of these situations it corresponds with. El color es muy bonito, pero no es de mi talla. ¿Tienes una talla más pequeña? En ese modelo no, pero tengo esta otra con un estilo más elegante. ¿Cuál prefieres? Prefiero la otra, la marrón. As always, you can go back to the audio and listen again if you need to. But this dialogue was what? A, B, C, D, E. Well, it was C. Okay, they were interacting in a shop, looking for clothes. So it was dialogue C that we just heard. Hmm? Let's listen one other audio, one more audio, one more dialogue. Para el dolor de cabeza, estas son fantásticas. ¿Cuántas puedo tomar al día? Una cada ocho horas está bien. Perfecto, me las llevo. Okay, what was the second dialogue? A, B, D, E. Was A. Hmm? We're talking about some pills that she can take. So therefore it was in the pharmacy and la farmacia. A. Let's listen one to one more dialogue. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Este 15 euros. ¿No tienes alguno en oferta? Este está rebajado. Cuesta 10 euros. Perfecto, me llevo este. ¿Cómo quieres pagar? ¿En efectivo o con tarjeta? No llevo dinero en efectivo. Con tarjeta, por favor. De acuerdo. Puedes poner aquí la tarjeta. Which one was this dialogue? B, D o E? Was referencing B. Okay? Because they were discussing how to pay. Yeah, pay, pay with cash, card, etc. So it's represented by picture B, the card. And let's listen to the two last dialogues and see which one is D, which one is E. Quiero uno para mi marido. Este huele muy bien. Sí, es uno de los nuevos que tenemos. Es muy popular. Pero 60 euros es un poco caro. Tenemos otro perfecto como regalo. Más barato y también huele muy bien. Este cuesta 40 euros. Quiero estas dos. Perfecto, están muy calentitas. Fantástico. Hoy vamos a comer unos bocadillos. ¿Cuánto es? Un euro. Ah, espera. Ponme otra más, que viene mi madre a comer a casa. No hay problema. Entonces las tres son un euro cincuenta. ¿Puedo pagar con tarjeta? No, lo siento, pero el mínimo son cinco euros. The first dialogue you heard is D O E. D O E. Well, the first one was D. Uh, she was asking about the price, 60 euros, a bit expensive, right? So uh, she ended up looking for something cheaper. And in the second dialogue, eh, uh, the guy cannot pay with card, only with cash. And he needs to yeah, get some uh, bread for making a sandwich for his mom. Mm -hmm. So the second one was eh. Now you have listened to these audios, these short dialogues, shopping, interacting, with just the purpose of identifying the situation, a general understanding of what you are hearing. And this is important to understand the methodology we have followed in other situations in previous lessons, that you first listen for a general understanding and then we do a second listen for more details. And that's what we're going to do right now. If you are enjoying the video so far, please give it a like, dale a me gusta, que es gratis. Mm -hmm. It's free. And now let's go deeper into these audios. The second time around, we are going to hear the audio again, but I want you to tell me which of these functions regarding shopping is being performed. So, compra un regalo, pide más información, pregunta el precio, expresa preferencias, Habla de cómo pagar. Okay? More than one of these can happen, and each of them can happen in more than one audio. Okay? So, compra un regalo, buy a gift, 
ask for more information, ask for the price, express preferences, and speaks about how to pay. Hmm? So let's listen again to audio one, and you tell me which one of these functions are being performed. El color es muy bonito, pero no es de mi talla. ¿Tienes una talla más pequeña? En ese modelo no, pero tengo esta otra con estilo más elegante. ¿Cuál prefieres? Prefiero la otra, la marrón. Go back if you need to listen again. The audio can be a bit fast, and that's okay. But what functions are being performed here? Well, the girl is expressing preferences. Está expresando preferencias. Because, well, she is asking about a different piece of clothing, and then she says, mm, prefiero la otra, la marrón. I prefer the other one, the brown one. Okay? And also you can say that she asked for more information because uh, she asked if they have a smaller size. Tienen una talla más pequeña. So that's also a way of asking for more information. But mainly she's expressing her preferences of the brown one. Let's listen to a second dialogue and see what functions are being done here. Para el dolor de cabeza, estas son fantásticas. ¿Cuántas puedo tomar al día? Una cada ocho horas está bien. Perfecto, me las llevo. What functions are being performed here? Just one. Okay, now uh, she is asking for more information. Pide más información. She asks, ¿cuántas puedo tomar al día? Because remember, they are in a pharmacy, so asking for some pills, and then ask how many can she take every day. Hmm? ¿Cuántas puedo tomar al día? So that's a way of asking for more info. Let's listen to the third dialogue. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Este, 15 euros. ¿No tienes alguno en oferta? Este está rebajado. Cuesta 10 euros. Perfecto, me llevo este. ¿Cómo quieres pagar? ¿En efectivo o con tarjeta? No llevo dinero en efectivo. Con tarjeta, por favor. De acuerdo. Puedes poner aquí la tarjeta. In this audio, we have more than one function. Which ones are they? Well, first, he is asking for a price. ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto cuesta? And um, asking also, or talking about how to pay. ¿Cómo pagar? ¿Cómo quieres pagar? ¿En efectivo o con tarjeta? ¿Mm? And the person says, contact. Okay. So let's listen to audio four. Quiero uno para mi marido. Este huele muy bien. Sí, es uno de los nuevos que tenemos. Es muy popular. Pero 60 euros es un poco caro. Tenemos otro perfecto como regalo. Más barato y también huele muy bien. Este cuesta 40 euros. There is one function being performed in this fourth dialogue. Which one is it? Es comprar un regalo. Because the girl says, quiero uno para mi marido. Remember that she's shopping for a perfume and wants one for her husband. Quiero uno para mi marido. So it's buying a present. And the shop assistant is talking about the price, but she's not asking about the price. So preguntar el precio is not a function there, although there is some talk about pricing. And listen to the last one now. Quiero estas dos. Perfecto. Están muy calentitas. Fantástico. Hoy vamos a comer unos bocadillos. ¿Cuánto es? Un euro. Ah, espera. Ponme otra más, que viene mi madre a comer a casa. No hay problema. Entonces las tres son un euro cincuenta. ¿Puedo pagar con tarjeta? No, lo siento, pero el mínimo son cinco euros. In this last dialogue we have two functions being performed. The first one will be preguntar el precio, because he says, ¿cuánto es? ¿Cuánto es? And also, they discuss how to pay. ¿Puedo pagar con tarjeta? And unfortunately, they say, no, no, el mínimo es 5 euros, lo siento. The minimum amount to pay for with card is 5 euros, I'm sorry. You have now heard these dialogues a couple of times, and I hope you were able to understand them, and this provide good context for vocabulary around interacting in a shop, which is the purpose of this lesson. Now, let's take a look at this vocabulary in a bit more detail. Here you have different sentences to talk about prices when shopping. First, asking how much is something. ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto cuesta? O ¿cuánto es? How much is it? Then the answer would be cuesta 10 euros, cuesta 3 euros, cuesta 
whatever it is, and you can reply to that, right? Saying, oh, it's a bit expensive. Es un poco caro. Es un poco caro. Mm -hmm. And ask also for a cheaper option. Do you have a cheaper one? Would be, ¿Tienes uno más barato? ¿Tienes uno más barato? And then you can talk about uh, discounts. Mm -hmm. So something is discounted or it's on sale would be está rebajado o está en oferta. Then when paying, you can say things like pagar con tarjeta, mm, to pay with card, pagar en efectivo, to pay with cash, or ask if they take cards. ¿Aceptan tarjetas? Or if you need uh, change but you don't have, or then you say no tengo cambio. When paying in, in cash, no tengo cambio. It's a good sentence to, to know in this scenario. Mm? So, tarjeta, efectivo, cambio, etc. And other sentences, uh, other expressions useful for shopping and that you have heard in these dialogues are ¿Tienen una talla más pequeña? So, when shopping around, uh, asking for a smaller size, ¿Tienen una talla o más pequeña o más grande, bigger size? And to express your preferences, we have heard that in the first audio. I prefer the brown one. Prefiero la marrón. In future lessons, we will see more about the verb preferir and the structure la marrón, la roja, etc. But for now, just prefiero esta, prefiero la otra. And me llevo something. Me llevo este. I'm taking this one. So the verb llevar is useful for saying what you want to take with you what you are choosing to buy. So, me llevo este, me llevo la chaqueta, me llevo el perfume. It's the way where you decide what to get with you. In this lesson, you have learned first more products that you can purchase, like las aspirinas, el periódico, el paquete de tabaco, and places where you get those things, estanco, el kiosco, la perfumería, and more to add to your vocabulary. And we work through six or no, th five dialogues uh, where you heard interactions when shopping uh, with sentences that are useful to ask for prices, to pay, to say that you are taking something, to express your preferences, and more. As we have said throughout the course, you have lesson notes to go with this video where you will be provided with the slides of the lesson as well as the extra vocabulary in an easy to follow format or the audio with the transcript. Uh, you can check the description of the video for the link to that. They are completely free. And if you want to uh, well, be reminded of our next lesson and do not miss out on them, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell. Okay? We are continuing with this unit three. And in the next lesson will be about grammar and demonstratives. So make sure to don't miss that. Soy Alejandro de Key Spanish y nos vemos en clase.